Welcome to AMS Bowfishing. In this episode, we step back seven years on a family bowfishing trip to South Dakota. My wife, Julie, and my two girls, Macy and Myra. Oldest is 13, youngest is 10. Then we're gonna fast forward to 2021. I had to go back out to South Dakota and test AMS Bowfish's new bow, the Hooligan V2. Once again, I'm accompanied by my wife, Julie, and my youngest daughter, Mara, who is now 17. Let's see if she connects on her first fish out here in South Dakota. Let's hit the road. Come on, there's carp to be had. It's time to get out and go on the water. Let's rock and roll. Where are we off to? Carp Town, USA. Where? Carp Town, USA. You ready? Yep. All right, let's go, huh? Yeah. Excited. <laughs> Excited. Finally, we made it to the cabin. Let me tell you what, traveling with the wife and two girls, they sure carry a lot of suitcases. It was nice to get to the cabin, get in, check it out, and now it's time to get ready to hit the water. Girls, are you ready? Yeah. There's Carp Town, USA. We finally arrived. Yes. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. So one thing that we're gonna have to deal with is we've got a big body of water. Uh, we've got winds blowing at 17 miles out of the south, so we're gonna have to find fish on the south shore because big bodies of water. It can get pretty rough out there in these windy conditions, but you know what? Big bodies of water also equals big fish. And that's what we're after in Carp Town, USA. <laughs> All safe and ready to rock and roll, girls. Let's hit the water. We finally found a salt shoreline that was protected by the wind a little bit, and now it's time to get the kids up on the deck, get the AMS gear in their hands, and take some practice shots. Man, I tell you what, it was so awesome to have my girls on the deck pole fishing with me at the same time. It was really a treat for me. And I tell you what, it was pretty tough. The water was about five to six feet deep. Even though it doesn't look like it because it's so clear, it was pretty tough shooting for the kids. And heck, even I was having a hard time shooting at these fish. Wow, look at Myra and her quick snap shooting here on this fish. Too bad she missed. But you know, with the sandy shorelines, and the clear water, the kids had one thing on their mind. They wanted to get out of the boat and kick those sandals off to feel the sand between their toes and get in the nice cool water. Remember, keep family vacations interesting and let the kids have fun in the great outdoors.
What are these carp doing on these sandy shorelines? Like I said earlier in the show, it was the end of May and the water temps were ranging from 58 to 62 degrees depending on our location. Now carp typically spawn when the water temperatures range between 65 to 70 degrees and we caught these carp in what I like to call a staging phase. They are slowly making their way from the deeper water to the warmer shallower waters and because the water temps are still a little too cold to spawn, they're hanging in that 2 to 5 feet of water in small pods of 2 to 6 fish. Even though we missed a full blown spawn by a few days, it was pretty cool to see the fish moving into these transition zones. We had a great day here in Carp Town, USA. Here with AMS Bow Fishing and Bow Fish 24/7 365. We got the whole family here. We've got Macy, got my wife Julie, my youngest Mara. We had a blast out here on Carp Town, USA. And we got some pretty good slobs. So remember, get the family, get the kids on the water, and have a good time. That's what bow fishing is all about.
Oh my gosh, that brought back some great memories. And that right there is why bow fishing and the outdoors is so great. We're going out to South Dakota to test uh, AMS Bow Fishing's new bow fishing bow, the Hooligan V2. And that is correct, bow fishing bow. Uh, there are certain bows made just for the sport of bow fishing. And they're actually quite a bit different than your hunting bow. Um, number one, your hunting bow for deer and elk and stuff like that is going to be quite a bit more expensive than your standard bow fishing bow. Um, number two, the draw weights are going to be probably higher on your hunting bow than on your bow fishing bows. Uh, we tend to like to have our draw weights between 20 to 40 pounds depending on the species that we're after, how deep they are. Uh, another reason that we had to have those lower draw weights is because we could shoot 200 times a night. And can you imagine shooting, uh, uh, bow fishing, uh, 200 shots in one night and your shoulder's gonna get very sore. So that's why we have those lower draw weights. Another big difference is, uh, especially here on like this Hooligan V2 is, it shoots like a recurve bow. There's no valley in there. There's no let off. Uh, we're not sitting there watching that deer come in, stops, we draw, we wait for him to give us the right shot. Bow fishing things happen fast. So we're taking quick shots. And that's what I love about the Hooligan V2. It can be snapshots. So if a carp comes out from the side of the boat or out of the weeds, you know, I can shoot it right here at a 23 inch draw. I don't need to come all the way back to draw on that fish. So snap shooting is awesome in the sport of bow fishing. Another thing you'll notice here is 97% um, of bow fishers do not use sights. It just takes too long. Those carp are going way too fast, trying to keep up with them as they're swimming through the water. Versus once again, like your deer or your mule deer or elk that's just you know, stationary and standing out there, where you can get that good shot you know, on, that, on that using your sights. Another thing, another big difference is the cams on a bow fishing bow, especially the Hooligan V2, we have the heavy duty trench cams, okay? The walls are thicker. There's a deeper trench in here because we're shooting fingers, all right? We're shooting fingers, so we don't have that exact anchor point every time we're coming back in. So some of our shots might be a little awkward, and we need the, the heavy-duty trench cams to pull that string back in place once that shot is taken. And like I just stated, we've got string things on the strings. We don't use a release. Release is just too clumsy. It gets in the way. It takes way too long to draw. We're using a release, so we have the string things on here to protect our fingers from all those shots that we take. Uh, we have the stainless limb pocket bolts uh, and nuts in here. And that is because we're doing a lot of draw weight changes, unlike your hunting bow, which you probably set at you know, 60, 62 pounds, and it's set there for several years. While in our bow fishing bows, we're changing our draw weights a lot, depending once again on the fish, the terrain we're shooting in, how deep they are. You might get a friend that comes along, he needs a bow, we're gonna turn that down so they can shoot properly. So that's just some of the differences between your archery bow and your bow fishing bow. There are differences. Check out the Hooligan V2 by AMS Bow Fishing. Now let's get back in the water for some more great pushing action from South Dakota.
we hope you enjoyed this episode of AMS Bow Fishing, and we look forward to working with Carbon TV in 2022 with fresh bow fishing episodes coming out in March. If you've never tried bow fishing, give it a try, you'll love it. We hope you learned something, and we hope you enjoyed the shows as well. From all of us at AMS Bow Fishing, best of luck on the water, and remember, aim low, think big.